There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. That is a lie. Welcome to Joe in Babylon. I'm Joe and I'll be with you as we are stranded in Babylon. What nonsense is in store for us today? Well, I watched the Trump-Harris debate so that you didn't have to. Not only did Trump have to debate Kamala Harris, he had to debate ABC News and they quote, fact checked him probably half a dozen times. Here's an example of one of their fact checks that was a lie. They have abortion in the ninth month. They even have, and you can look at the governor of West Virginia, the previous governor of West Virginia, not the current governor, is doing an excellent job, but the governor before, he said the baby will be born and we will decide what to do with the baby. In other words, we'll execute the baby. And that's why I did that, because that predominates, because they're radical. The Democrats are radical in that. There is no state in this country where it is legal to kill a baby after it's born. That is a lie. Michael Knowles from the Daily Wire explains it best. From, so first of all, what President Trump said is true. What he said about Ralph Northam, the governor of Virginia, is true. Kamala's shaking her head, no, no, no. There's a, it's on video. You can, I didn't even pull the clip today because everyone's seen this video so many times. It's, that's, that happened. But then furthermore, Lindsay, Lindsay Davis says, there is no state in this nation where it's legal to kill a baby after the baby's been born. Not only is that false, Kamala Harris's own running mate, Tim Walls, within the last couple of years, repealed the legal requirement that physicians provide medical care to babies who are born after surviving abortions. And even though Vice President of the United States of America, Kamala Harris, told many lies about Donald Trump, they never once pulled a fact check on her. Um, so it was infuriating to watch them fact check you and not her when she brought up IVF, when she brought up Project 2025 several right. times, and when she brought up Charlottesville. Here are some of the lies that she said about you. Listen. Detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing. Couples who pray and, 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 and dream of having a family are being denied IVF treatments. If Donald Trump were to be reelected, he will sign a national abortion ban. And what did the president then at the time say? There were fine people on each side. On that day, 140 law enforcement officers were injured and some died. Donald Trump, the candidate, has said in this election there will be a bloodbath if this and the outcome of this election is not to his liking. And the bloodbath, you were talking about the economy. It's a term that's used um, a lot when people are talking about a bad economy. What's that's your reaction right. to that's why didn't right. the moderators well, correct her? Because they're dishonest and because I think ABC took a big hit last night. ABC News may think you are an idiot, but in the long run, it's only going to hurt them. Well, there it is.